Right, I guess it's time to talk about the next movie that I watched uh, um, offline. Um, it obviously has to be Sinister 2. I mean, I've heard um, talk about this. They were saying, oh my gosh, have you seen this movie? It's like the most scariest movie that, you're, that you'll are that you ever see. Um, I, I got chills watching it. Like, I've seen videos of it and I analyzed the first one because I couldn't wa- I couldn't find the first one but obviously the second one is obviously going to fall the same skill that obviously it has the same elements and everything else so I watched it it's the same thing how I felt about this one Sinister 2 was obviously it, it goes with the same aspect it starts with something that obviously they said is like real looking because they actually did go with the same thing but um, they are like Let's make it feel real. And obviously, it did feel like a little bit disturbing, the fact of what was going on. And obviously, the characters, like, one of the characters was the one that was in It too, which, obviously, he was a goat, freaking goated character. Um, they didn't make him dorky, because obviously, he was, like, a private investigator that learned a whole bunch of stuff, but wasn't dorky. He was just, like, very scared, just like It. Like, he also felt that same role. Like, I kind of felt like he was also, in, like... He grew up to become a private investigator after it. Like, after the whole deal, he went to go and do some investigations. That's what I feel like he went for. Because, like, he also had the same aspect of that, that he's also scared. Um, But, like, the jump scares were terrible. I freaking hated it. Like, I was like, bro, like, I, I don't like when a scary movie has jump scares because it just doesn't. Um, It just doesn't give me um hype for... I'm going to get so scared out of this movie. Going back to Sinister, um, like I said, I hated the jump scares out of it because it got me off of it. I was like, bro, I don't like I don't like how this is going. Like, it's going with the route that, yes, we do know that it's scary because it's haunted. Like, it had, it has stuff that happened. Like, people were killed. I understand that. And obviously, um, now seeing it, like, full on, like, from one for the video that showcased number one, and now me seeing the second one, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get pissed. And obviously, the I don't like when they make characters so stupid in horror films, because they, they gotta have at least one that has a brain that's like, oh, I gotta assess the thing that I don't wanna go through this route, because um, I could end up getting killed or getting someone in... Um, my what's it called my family members killed or stuff like that I don't want that um, I just want one that has a big brain I think Terrifier 2 is going to have a big brain moment I don't know don't quote me on it but I'm feeling like it but if it does I'll be happy um, this movie also pissed me off on the fact of how basically the, the kids that were in the films that literally passed away were bullies to legitimately one and basically saying, oh, if you don't do anything, we're going to freaking hurt you. I'm like, bro, what are you going to do? You're a literal ghost. What are you going to do? Like, you're a literal ghost. The thing that will literally impact me more is going to be that ghoul that's already standing there. You ain't going to do anything. So, shut up. I don't care. Like, they're literally forcing the kid to watch the movies. Like, bro, they ain't going to do anything. They're just going to be throwing stuff around because they're just having a, t- a temper tantrum. And y'all were taking L's because you let this thing kill you. So that's your fault. I don't I don't need to suffer through that. That's basically like the energy that I felt if I were one of the kid. Like if that, I was the kid that was getting forced. Like, bro, I don't care. Like, y'all freaking took L's. Y'all should have learned better. And yeah, like that's that's what like pissed me off. Also, like the character that was like so like messed up. He also pissed me off, but... Um, he got the bad ending, so sucks to be him. And what else? Fear Factor, a little bit. Because obviously like, it did feel like you were being in, in that moment seeing it. A little bit of gore, not a lot. But eh, it was it was something. It was something else. But this movie? Hmm. A 7. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It was it, it didn't induce the what's it called? The vibe that it's scary. It stood the same. It did have some comedic moments for a literal scary movie of all time. A 7 because of that it did give me an aspect that yes, it did give me the vibe that it was going to be scary overall. Um the jump scares were terrible, so obviously that kills 
the rating. Um, some characters pissed me off. The movies didn't do some the fear factor because it did make it look livid because that's what they were planning for. Honestly, I, I, I would give it a recommendation to check it out. Yeah. But obviously this one, not so scary movie. So that's all I got to say.